this is an interesting idea as far as because so much hash rate was taken off off the network and it's going to take so long for it to come back on because nothing about the transition to another geographic location is going to be quick. Some people are saying multiple quarters until a lot of this hash rate gets back online. Does that extend the bull cycle out longer before it hits its peak than what we've maybe seen historically? Because historically, the peak kind of hits about 70,000 blocks after the halving event, which is call it a a year and a half kind of timeline after the halving historically. And I know there's not a lot of data points here as far as these four-year cycles. But what are your, what are some of your thoughts on that? And then in addition to that, what we see after the peak hits is all this hashing keeps coming online after it has already peaked because there's fat margins like the margins you're describing. And so miners are incentivized to keep bringing more and more hash rate online, which really gets super competitive and it kind of drives the price to this homeostasis kind of stock to flow price point. Does all of that get pushed out further to the right because of this big China ban and hashing going to well, take a lot longer to come online? I mean, you could make the argument that you know there's a bunch of Bitcoin that are being sold now that would have that otherwise would not have been sold just because the miners are needing liquidity to get out of this quagmire. I don't know. I need to think about what it means if if, if the whole cycle would be affected by it. I still feel like you know there's however many billion people on the planet, I still feel like those are going to be more of a driver of, of the whole price dynamic than the miners are going to be, even if they sell a lot. Like If people think it's undervalued, they're just going to pile in and buy. I'm pretty optimistic still about the 30,000. It's going to be the height of irony if this gets aired and we've broken below it. But I'm still pretty optimistic that you know we may really hold this level. Maybe we'll like drop, like I have a big scare and drop to like 23,000 for a week or something, but I think it should recover pretty quickly. But so yeah, I think it's it's more up to the overall market to decide where the price is going to go and how fast then then that miners really can make a difference. 